Project-based learning is a student-centered approach that gives learners opportunities to collaboratively participate in groups in real-life opportunities where they are engaged in establishing learning that is personally meaningful. Project-based learning is also influenced by the ideas of John Dewey about learning by doing. It follows the natural process of learning by students' engagement in the problems that needs to be addressed. John Dewey's claims about learning by doing approach became famous in the 20th century and it's adapted up until the present project-based learning schools. Learning by doing is dragged back in the history before the 20th century. So there are famous people, namely Confucius, Aristotle, and Socrates, that shows how a person can learn through critical thinking, inquiry, and questioning. Also, there is Galileo Galilei in the 1500s who tracked the retrograde of the planets in the solar system. Also, Sir Isaac Newton in 1644 who introduced us the law of gravity using an apple falling from a tree. And also John Dewey in the 20th century. Meaningful learning can be achieved by implementing project-based learning in the learning experiences of a learner and higher retention of learning are more possible if the child experiences the things that they are interested and they do it on their own. Project-based learning children are given the freedom to go out in their own and learn through what they experience for them to develop their initiative and interest in a specific project. Compared to traditional learning, which is a more teacher-centered approach, project-based learning is a more student-centered approach which gives more opportunity for the learners to explore the environment and learn from it. In project-based learning, students are responsible to their own learning. They get to choose what things, subjects, or topics they are interested to, which makes them more enthusiastic in the process of learning. This unique characteristic of project-based learning resulted to a number of effects to both students and teachers. Project-based learning has an abounding benefits to students and number one would be it makes them more confident. Since they are involved in the process of learning, they express themselves, especially their opinions and ideas, way better. Which is also connected to its another benefit, which according to Rosenfeld 2009, pupils who do poorly in traditional classrooms should be exposed in project-based learning contexts where their learning styles constitute a better match. Project-based learning gives opportunity to students who are being outshined by other students, which is very beneficial and can be used as a good teaching technique. Another benefit of project-based learning is it enhances intellectual knowledge and at the same time, students get to acquire necessary skills which they can use to solve or to solve real-life problems. Since most of the projects were done in groups, this helps the student to improve their social skills and learn how to collaborate. Project-based learning is also a good instructional approach for students with different learning styles and came from different ethnic backgrounds. These, these are only some of the great benefits of project-based approach and these benefits can vary depending on the learner's age and grade level and also where it will be contextualized or applied. Benefits of project-based learning were claimed and proved by various studies. However, challenges and disadvantages were also inevitable. There are very specific challenges regarding the implementation of project-based learning as an instructional approach. One challenge that were faced by both teachers and students is the time management. For the students, they are having a hard time creating meaningful questions which is necessary in project-based learning. And as for teachers, project-based learning requires a lot of time starting from the planning itself up to the application in the classroom. Teachers also find control and discipline in the classroom as one of the challenges since in project-based learning, students were given almost 100% autonomy to decide for themselves and just explore which sometimes cause too much noise and teachers find it very challenging to control the students. Another challenge that was found is the readiness of the teacher. As we all know, teachers must be skillful enough to implement and make students learn something. Project-based learning requires a lot of effort from the teachers and it takes a lot of skill for this to be implemented properly. 
This issue regarding the readiness has been resulted for some teachers to feel not confident enough to apply PBL as their teaching approach. The question is, are we teachers ready for PBL to apply in our classroom? Another, assessment. Assessment and grading system is very much important in the process of learning. This will tell how the students perform in a specific span of time. Project-based learning requires more types of assessment that is suited for project-based output or activities. In addition, communication of teachers to parents were also found as a problem as some parents underestimated the value and benefits of projects. Some parents misunderstood it and will just see this approach as a lot of work and this needed to be addressed before it can be implemented. Number of meetings or seminars are needed for them to be well informed and understand it. If project-based learning will be applied in the learning system and will substitute or replace the traditional way of learning, aside from it take a lot of time, budget, and materials will also need to be considered. Project-based learning may, sen may seem to be really difficult to be implemented as we are not used to it, but once these challenges were addressed, questions will be answered and solutions will be provided, it will be worth it and it will be successfully implemented. There were various studies that provide different strategies in implementing project-based learning inside the classroom. Project-based learning can be applied in different sections of the learning process of students. It can be before the discussion of the concepts, during the discussion or while the students acquire the knowledge, and after the students acquire the knowledge and concepts. Teacher can use project-based learning as a motivator or a stimulus for the learners to be actively engaged in studying. The eagerness and interest of students can be stimulated and enhanced by the use of project-based learning. It can also be an extension to develop and discover more skills for students. It acts like a prompt for students to go further beyond the learnings that have been taught to them. We encourage teachers to provide authentic learning experience to students by giving various activities and let the learners to directly experience the activities and concepts. Because by doing this, the long-term retention of learning can be met and it will be more beneficial for the students. In other studies, project-based learning was also seen as an opportunity for students to learn technology and possess the 21st century skills that right now are highly demanded by many educational institutions and even in the industrial world. According to Fitria and Chai Chompo um, studies, implementation of project-based learning can also be used specifically in developing strong communication skills of the students, especially in countries that have difficulty acquiring English language. Now, you're getting the whole picture of what project-based learning is, starting from the definition to the benefits, challenges, and strategies on its implementation. Project-based learning is a highly recommended teaching approach since it can cater to the most needs of the students and gives more opportunity to any type of learner. As what the previous speakers highly emphasize, project-based learning embraces the idea of differentiated learning style and diversity of young learners. Project-based learning enhances the learner's knowledge beyond the context of a book, which makes the teaching more unique and commendable. Students were given a chance to construct their own learning, given only guidance and some instruction from their teachers. Through this, they get to explore and discover from their own capabilities and learn to appreciate each and every one's uniqueness. As much as this teaching approach is very beneficial to young learners, specifically to Filipino young learners, it will take a lot of preparation and working time to be well implemented in the Philippines. Considerations such as budget, 
teacher's readiness, materials, and as well as the curriculum construction itself are just some of the things needed to look upon before it can be applied here. Also, further study that is contextualized here in the Philippines can be also a great help for reference and more information about project-based learning since most of the references were internationally published. Project-based learning is workable, but we cannot deny the fact that it will demand a lot of time and effort from the administration, teachers, parents, and also from the students. Once all of these area of considerations will be analyzed and answered, there will be a successful implementation of project-based learning which can highly be beneficial for our young learners.